on the, of course, watching YouTube and saw Cooking with April, which I just love her. And she did this pork tenderloin recipe. So I got that pork tenderloin recipe by April. And uh, what we have in is, uh, I'm doing two pork tenderloins. She showed four. Um, I couldn't find the button. I mean, these are button mushrooms, but these are white ones. I think she had the brown ones. Uh, chicken broth, um, and it's two cups. And one cup of, and by the way, I'm using Trader Joe's organic chicken broth and then this is the marcella cooking wine by holland house i believe that's the one that she had i think that sponsored hers this is not a sponsored video by the way um three shallots cut in half and then quartered I, well they're, they're quartered i guess um well yeah a little bit i just cut them also then three tablespoons of butter and she had three or four sprigs of thyme and i did a little bit more because my time was shorter so here we go and i'm gonna let ron hold the i'm sorry it's so shaky and he is i'm going to you need to get on behind me honey and uh he's gonna get over and he's gonna i'm gonna show you exactly the way we're gonna do this so, okay now we're gonna go look this way and we're gonna put first of all we're gonna put down a little bit more okay we're going to put the tenderloin in. I sprayed the crock pot um, because I, you know, so even though this really doesn't stick so much, I always spray it with, I sprayed it with olive oil. Okay, next I'm going to pour in the chicken broth. And I'm going to do, that's two cups, one cup of the Marsala wine. I'm adding the shallots. I'm gonna put the three tablespoons of butter. Then I'm gonna put the sprigs and get the sprigs. If you come on a little closer, Ron, and see that we're putting this down in there. Just make sure you cover those, put them down in there where they're down in there. And boy, you can smell it. It's And then I'm gonna do the, these mushrooms. I'm gonna just throw those in. Okay, now I'm going to take my crock pot here, and I'm going to set it at low, let's see, low, and we're going to do it, say, she said six to eight hours, so I'm going to go on and do um, the eight hours, and I'm going to check it in six hours just to see how it's doing. Okay, eight hours, and then we just start. I love this new crock pot, by the way. It is... Um, we just got this one recently and it's all digital so there we go we'll be back l later we'll check on it and there we go. okay guys we've got about um two hours and 15 minutes uh because i put it on for seven hours and it still is cooking it really looks good it may not have to go that long i'm just going to look at it another hour well, it says two hours and what did i say two hours and 49 minutes now but you see it's really it's cooking good the mushrooms the shallots um all that the thyme is in there um you can see it's coming off it it's the you can see the thyme coming off the stem but anyway i'll let you know we'll come back when it's done we'll plate it up and slice it and show you what the final will be Hey guys, it fell apart. It really is tender. So if you try this tenderloin, I would suggest to let it cool down a little bit before you cut it. But I put the mushrooms on the side. As you can see, I've got some bread here and some slaw, cold slaw. So getting ready to serve it. Ron could not wait any longer. He's ready to eat. So anyway, uh, looks real delicious and um, we, um, I love it. I think it's going to be good. Don't you, Ron? Uh-huh. <laughs> love you guys. Until later. Okay. There's the plate. What do you think, Ron? I'm loving it. You loving it? I'm loving oh, it. I'm loving it. Okay. All right. Love you guys. He's in loving it. Y'all have a good night. Remember, be kind to one another. Don't forget to give a smile. If you do, you might give one back. Love you. Hey.